Hey everybody, how's it going out there? Adapa11 here with another Star Wars action figure review. This here we have from the Star Wars Trilogy Collection, a New Hope Cantina account encounter. This is Danik Jericho from 2005. It's numbered at number 8. This includes a removable proboscis, hookah pipe, blaster, and an action figure base. So you can see that... Uh, he is, uh, he's actually got a yellowish stain to him, though the box does not. So, yeah, they got him. That's appropriate for considering he's got a hookah pipe. So he's, like, stained in the resin or residue. <laughs> Ooh, yuck, of whatever he's smoking. Oh, well, anyways, let's read the bio. Danik Jericho is a very dangerous anxiety. When he attacks a victim, he uncoils small trunk-like organs, called proboscises, hidden in his cheeks, inserts them into the victim's nose, and ingests the person's blood and brain matter. Even the nastiest creatures in the cantina stay away from Jericho. So it's not just that nasty secondhand smoke. This dude's got a problem with sticking little tiny worms up people's... Uh, nose cool i guess wouldn't invite him over for supper anyhow i'm gonna open it up and let's do a review Okay, so there we have him. Danik Jericho, Cantina Encounter in A New Hope. So, as you may have been able to have seen by now, as to why I have been looking so forward to getting this character, well, that is because of the dia... Well, first of all, he's a Cantina Moise Eisley uh, patron, so of course I'm going to want him. But also because in the background, as you see there is a wanted poster or whatnot of Danik. So there we go. I can finally do a storyline with a little bit of more, a little bit of uh, uh, flair since I have that, but I digress. All right, so let's check him out here. So as you see here that, uh, oh, I don't have my pointer stick this time. Hmm, okay. Well, as you can see here, he's got the the two, uh, what was it called, the proboscis coming out right here and these tentacles apparently go up the nose of the victims and he eats their brains they do come out however so well let's actually take a closer look so you can whoop there we go okay so as you can see I can even bring them a little closer get my there we go focus a little bit even alter this Okay, now let's take, now you can see here, these are attached. Now, you can move them down, up, and whatnot, but of course they can fall out like that. So, naturally, if you have shag carpet, you drop these in them, well, yeah, you might have a challenge finding them. Don't vacuum. Easily lost pieces. What did I drop now? Hmm. Um, so, <laughs> And of course, you can see here is this hookah pipe. And you can see the entryway, entry hole, as you saw in the photos. 
uh, that's apparently, well, of course, that's where the, the pipe goes. But as you can see here, he's got the articulation uh, at the shoulders with, uh, with the swivel. And he's also got the angled swivel um, articulation at the elbows. So it makes for articulating into a setting to get him holding his smoke in his pipe. Uh, it's a challenge, put it that way. So there you have his articulation on the head, his uh, ball joint, swivel at the shoulders bilateral, angled articulation, swivel at the uh, elbow, swivel at the wrist, swivel at the waist, swivel at the hips, forward, backwards, pretty good. No abduction. Great to see that he's got um, ball jointed articulation at the knees by lat, but no articulation at the um, ankles. Um, yep. And as you can see here, here is his, uh, the hole for his foot, for the foot peg. Now this stand did not come with him. I just have uh, this one here for ease. Now you can see here that without the uh, the worms in, in his face, uh, it leaves a little bit of a hole, and plus the, the the pipe hole. But really good, creepy look. I think that's a really good mold. Um, you know, I'm getting a better look of it, uh, at it now, of course, because I have the camera in front of me. So, yeah, he's got a pretty good detailed face. The eyes are creepy, the nose, the teeth, the whole works. Not too bad. I dig the yellowish look as much as uh, growing up in the 70s and 80s. Um, couldn't stand the, the secondhand smoke and everything with the, the nicotine on it. And he's got that yellowish nicotine secondhand smoke look. Um, so that's really cool too because it, it just he's got that, that dirty look. You know what I mean. All right, so here's this canister. It does come out for his hookah. Cool. Let me set that to the side. Here's his pistol. Holster. I guess that might about do it. Okay, well, I think uh, that should be it. We got the articulation. As you can see, you can also analyze them um, during the photos, but I like them a lot now. Gosh, I really like their uh, cantina fig figures, even the ugly ones, that, just because they're cantina figures, but gosh, having this guy, I think I'd have to give him, even despite his type of articulation, I'll give him a good 8.8. .8. Let's go with an 8.8, .8, almost a 9. If you had a little bit better articulation, I'd go with a 9, but I'm happy. I'm pleased. All right, well, I guess that'll, that'll do it. I really appreciate your time. Um, hey, even more so for a thumbs up and or subscribe if you haven't done so. I appreciate it, guys and girls. Until next time, may the force be with you. Take care.